Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSC 2010 guys. Okay, so the given question is a 5 stage pipeline processor okay, has instruction fetch IF, instruction decode ID, operand fetch OF, perform operation PO and write operation WO stages. Okay, and they clearly told that IF, ID, OF and WO will take one clock each. Okay, and PO okay, takes one clock for addition and one clock for subtraction, three clocks for multiplication and six clocks for division. Okay, and we are using upper end forwarding. Okay. And is used in pipeline. What is the number of clocks needed to execute the following sequence of instruction? So let us first of all let us write those numbers. So multiplication will take three, division will take six, addition will take one, subtraction will also take one. Right? Yes. So I think this question is a data dependency question. So if you observe carefully. R2 is not having any issue here. So there is no relation between these two guys. So is there any relation with the above guys? Yes. So here R5 is there. Here R5 is there. Similarly here R2 is there. Here R2 is there. Got it? Yes. So now let us start solving the question. If you recall what is the best method guys? Start drawing the table for this. I0, I1, I2, I3. Guys if I recall we have already solved this exact question in our course discussion guys. So in our course discussion I have took this question only from the PYQBs. Okay. Yes. So in that lecture we have already solved the both the methods like forwarding and without forwarding. So that is the reason why here I will be solving only the operator forwarding. If you want how operator without operating forwarding will work you can just watch that lecture. Okay. Yes. So let us start. Okay, so let us start writing the clock numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, and if 19 is there, 19 will be enough there, right? Yes. So anyway, if you ask me, 19 is also there. Got it? Yes. So let us start. Okay, so first equation will never have issue, right? Any issue because above him, there is no one, right? Yes. So it will take one. So let me write it here. So instruction fetch, instruction decode, operand fetch. Perform operation, it might be 3. So, according to my order only, I am writing 3, 6, 1, 1. Okay. And at the end, we will do write operation. Okay. So, let us start. So, instruction fetch, instruction decode, operand fetch, and three operations of perform operation. Perform operation, perform operation, perform operation, write operation. So, this part is done now, right? Yes. So, always remember that I naught will never have any issue, guys. It will run really, really smoothly, if you ask me, right? Yes. So, first of all, let us check is there any relation between I naught and I1, guys? There is no dependency, no issue, right? Yes. So, it will also run smoothly. So, here you will have instruction fetch. Here you will have instruction decode. Here we will have operand fetch. Okay, so these step, three steps are done. Now coming on to perform operation, the above I0 is still running. So this cannot do perform operation yet. Here also it cannot do, here it can do. And it is a six number. So P0, PO, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in total six steps are done. So at the end it will do right back. So basically to complete until here, it took 13 cycles guys. Okay. Yes. So let us continue. Okay, so now we are done till here. So, but if you observe here carefully, so in between I2 and I3, there is a relation. So, basically this I5 is being used here. So, if this perform operation is done here, so I can collect the value from there, right? Yes. So, that concept is nothing but operator forwarding, guys. So, if I collect at the end, so basically once the whole instruction is done, if I collect, that is without forwarding. So, that is the only simple difference, guys, if you ask me. Got it? Yes. So, let us start the next instruction. So, it will start here. So, instruction fetch. Okay, so then instruction decode. Okay, then operand fetch. So even though the operand fetch is done, I cannot perform the instruction, the operation because my data is not ready, right? So this whole steps, it is indirectly doing operand fetch only. Okay, so here at the end, I got the chance to perform operation. Then I will write back. So because that is a uh, addition, it is only one step, right? Yes. Similarly, in the next case also, I2 R2 is coming from here. So basically I need to wait till this point, right? Yes. So even in the next step. So here I will do instruction fetch. Here I will do instruction decode. So in this whole steps, so I will do operator fetch. Okay. So till here I will be ready with the operator. Here I will do perform operation and I will write back. Because it is subtraction only one step, right? Yes. 
So at the end of the 15 cycles, we were able to complete our given tasks. So the answer will be B. Got it? Yes. So if you solve the same problem without forwarding, you will get 19 as the result. guys. So if you want me to explain within one second, so the only change will be, so here you cannot take directly from here, right? So you will wait till here. So these two items will come here, here. And these two items will come here, here. Because again, if this is here, so after this whole execution only, this execution should start. So at the end, the structure will look in this way. So anyway, I have books. So anyway, let me directly write it here. Okay. So at 13, you will have write back of this, right? So at 14, the next instruction operation will be done. At 15, its write back will be done. At 16, this value will be taken by the next instruction. It will do perform operation. Then it will do write back. Okay. Yes. So at the end of a 17 clock cycle, you will be getting the result. Got it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. My mistake. So even this operator fetch will also come in between, right? So here operator fetch will come here. Operator fetch will come. So this is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it will take total 19 cycles guys. Got it? Yes. Because operator fetch is the most important step, right? So for that only we are waiting, right? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? Okay, so anyway, if you are having any doubt with respect to this operator forwarding and without operator forwarding, please watch the lecture data hazards guys. Okay, yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.